Hello and Niresh, today I will explain the concept of KV cash and its variants. Both are related to vanilla self attention and useful in reducing the time complexity of the traditional vanilla self attention which is very useful in transformer and uh, large language model related tasks and a lot of other tasks also. So let us start. In the traditional vanilla self attention what we do, we first take the input text and after that we calculate the embeddings. Suppose we have a four word text, the rocket launched successfully. So for each word, now just for simplicity we are considering each word like a token. So in this case, we will calculate the embeddings for each of those words. So suppose uh, we have embeddings of size 3. Then when we reach at the next level, then we have to calculate the linear projections. So what is the use of linear projections, how the linear projections matrices are calculated and why it is calculated. All things I already discussed multiple times in previous tutorials. So you can watch that. Now we are just considering that at a linear projection page, we will manage three by three size matrices for query, key and value. And we take the product of it with our input token. So this way we can calculate the query linear projections for query key and value. Now when we apply the vanilla self attention then what happens? So suppose we have a input token D. So in that case we will calculate the linear projections for key and value by taking D as a new token. Next time when, is, when our input is rocket, in that case we reach here and we have two tokens in our calculation page. So in this case, for this we will calculate the key and value linear projection matrices. But again for D also, the vanilla self attention, for D also it will calculate the same key and value projection matrices again. So here we will do the calculations two times. When we reach at launched, so we will have three words in the sequence. So for launch, this is a new token. Anyhow, we have to calculate the projections matrices for key and value. But at the same time, we have to repeatedly calculate the projection matrices for rocket and D because those are previous tokens. So in that case, we will do the same type of computations multiple times, means here three times because here three words are there. So similarly, when we reach here, we will do the same computations four times because only this is the new word. So we can assume that this calculation is valid. But for these three calculations for launched and rocket, so this is a repetitive calculation. So all self vanilla self attention mechanism do such kind of repeated calculations. And this is the actual reason that it increases its time complexity to a very high level. So what are the changes applied by KV cache to reduce this time complexity? To reduce this time complexity, KV cache generally prepared the storage cache for key and value but not for query because uh, query we are generally changing multiple times and uh, it depends upon a lot of other things also. So for uh, simplicity and for uh, smoothness, they are just managing to store key and value in a separate cache. So next time when we have to calculate the QT to compute the attentions as a next phase, we have generally take the value of key and value from the cache, from this cache. This way it highly reduces the computations. For example, here you can understand, suppose we take this in a cache. After calculation, we put this in a cache. Then this will directly come from the cache. And next time, second phase, we will put this also in the cache. So in this case, third phase, in third phase, we will take both value from the cache and only for this we will do the new calculation. So every time we will do just one, one new calculations for new words only. Here you can see the detailed comparison through a simple chart. So in a vanilla self attention for input tokens like uh, linear projection matrices, it calculates QT and KT and then value. Then for key and value, it repeats the calculations like 
I have shown here. And this, it uses the computation that repeated computations values in a further stage. So this way we calculate the sort mix uh, for the each of those words, and then we calculate the final retention output for each of the words or tokens in the given text. So this is the process. So in this case, the entire computation will use multiple repeated things at the intermediate stage and it increases the entire term, time complexity. In the case of KB cache, it uses the cached key and value storage and some efficient memory lookup technique to just quickly get those informations for the calculation page. And this all actually saves the time and reuse the past information. Only in the case of if new data or text uh, next token is new, we do all the calculations like we calculate the query um, linear projections matrix for query key and value. Uh, it is important again, we are not storing the query related linear projection values. The time complexity vanilla self attention is O of t square, but here just O and T of the total time complexity. But uh, these all computations comes with some limitations also. So those limitations are for language generation chatbot, for machine translation decoder, we can directly use it. It is efficient streaming, inferencing, autoregressive decoding. But for sentiment classification, training transformer model, we cannot use KV cache because that time we have full input is already available and we will not require and in the case of transformer model we all use all tokens together so again this type of things we cannot do so this is based for training vanilla self attention training and full input and the kv cache is generally useful for generation streamings llms that's why these are very useful because in llm we try or we require any of the possible techniques which can reduce the time complexity because we are dealing with a huge amount of tokens in data. So again, there are another variety of KV cache that is called paged KV cache. So what is the difference between traditional KV cache and paged KV cache? So as we learned from the previous example that in traditional KV cache, we are just using the cache storage for key and value linear projections matrices and then we compute the we use the computed value in the calculation of further steps of the attention mechanism in the attention mechanism but in the paged KV case what happens so in the paged KV case when we try or when we require such kind of computations at a very large level then managing and retrieving the data at a very large cache is again a problem. So in that case, we are using paging based concept. So in that case, we do the same operations for input. We do the same operations for embeddings and we do the same operations for linear projections. We apply the little different stage here. So instead of just using a single KV cache, we use some fixed size pages and we store the key and value projection matrices in that paged caches. So paged KV cache managers we require after that because here we are, we can just use a simple memory inference uh, memory mapping technique to retrieve the data from the cache because this is a one simple storage. But here we are as we are using the paging also. So we will use some paged KV manager. So we generally it will find the valid page for context window. Then it will load the KV pages from the memory map and then handle the eviction if the memory is full. So three operations generally do uh, done by all the KV page managers. And after that uh, rest of the calculations are very much similar like here. So instead of cache, we are computing this from page blocks. 
so it it is uh, very easy to explain so i think uh, now it is clear like uh, uh, what are the differences between kv cache and paged kv cache so another is like kv ada quant so this is also very important because these days a uh, lot of llms are using such kind of techniques so in the traditional format like in kv cache input embedding it is same in our so this is our kv ada quant and this is kv cache so we can see that both portion is same and after that we do the linear projections so the difference is that we are not storing the linear projections directly to the cache like we do here so what we are doing we are applying quantization techniques for key and value separately so you already know that quantization has a lot of benefits like uh, how it saves the memory and time etc so i have already prepared a video tutorials like uh, how quantization yeah, are actually effective how we can do it uh, how we can get uh, benefit from it so you can watch uh, my previous tutorials on this so the next phase is like uh, after calculating the quantizations of 4 bit or 2 bit precision we generally store it in a quantized kv cache so we will take the quantizations and we have a quantized kv cache we apply the quantization functions quantize it and store it that may be either uh, for key we are generally use 4 bit and for value we, will, we can use 2 bit uh, but uh, we can change it also according to the requirement now at the time of um, attention computation so what are the differences here generally what happens in the case of uh, kv cache we directly fetch the data from cache and use it in the computation of attention scores but in the case of quantized kv cache we need some different operations we just we first dequantized the cached values for math multiplications operations and then computations of softmax so every time we use the dequantized value so this is the only process so we are doing the caching also here also but we are caching the quantized value and quantized at 4 bit and 2 bit for key 4 bit for value 2 bit but it may be different according to requirements and we use that quantized value and then we dequantize it and then use it at the computation of math multiplication and attention scores and then final attention computation so this is the entire strategy this also saves a time with respect to traditional vanilla and now again we can say that uh, traditional vanilla kv cache algorithm and similarly there are a lot of different different varieties are there like hierarchical kv cache and so many different varieties are there but the purpose of such kind of caching mechanism applying caching mechanism with vanilla self attention is just to reduce the time complexity and improve the efficiency of the system so i hope that you have understand that how such kind of systems are working so thanks for watching